Year 12 IT Major Project Code Demonstration Objective 1, which is allow the player to select a class prior to battle which determines the base statistics. Okay, so we'll start on frame 1 in terms of code because the following arrays are relevant to this objective the character array and the class arrays. Also, to a lesser extent, these two are relevant as well. So we will go to frame 6, which is along with frame 7 where the class information is generated. So, you notice that when you first get onto the page, you will have three classes to choose from. When you click the select button, you activate this function, which will take you to here. This will cause the border to appear around the movie clip which is adjacent to the select button so you can tell which character you've chosen as well as the remove button to appear to allow you to remove that character and if you would click the remove button which is also activates the function that would occur down here but we'll get to that in a sec so when you choose a character it sets the end character variable to 1 if you chose character 1, 2 if you chose 2, and 3 if you chose 3. It will then remove a previous character if you already have it chosen. So if you choose a character, leave the character selection menu and play the game, then decide you want to change your character and come back, it will automatically remove the character if you choose a different one. So. If you choose character remove, it takes you down to the character remove function, which is a case statement. And that character de case statement depends on your old character number. So remember, one is white mage, etc. So if you had the white mage, then the following would occur the A character array which changes depending on which class you apply to it is then reset to a default class of adventurer your level is set to zero, your hit points is returned to 50 and so on. That's the case with all characters. So once that has occurred it sets the old character to one and takes you to the application code where it will apply the function of fcast select and that will determine your new statistics. It also sets n char yes to more than zero, which means you can then click the continue button. So fcast select is down here, and this is also a case statement, and in this case it applies the A class array to the A character array. So they stack on top of one another where the A character array is always the same and then the A class arrays are put on top and can be removed. And as you can see it changes the name, the level etc and then it adds these on to the base. And then that occurs for all three. So once you've done that, you can click continue, and that is a button function, which will, if n char yes is greater than zero, and it's only set to zero if you don't have a character chosen, it will take you to frame seven. Alternatively, you can choose no class, which will then remove any characters you may have chosen, and still take you to the next frame, but you have the default base class of adventurer. So assuming in either case you'll get to frame 7, we'll go there now. And this takes you to a page where really no new calculations are made per se. It just shows you the statistics which normally are stored in the A character array. And so it will demonstrate all those to you. It will only show you the magic ones if your character has a magic stat, so the white and black mages will see magic, but the warrior will not. Neither will the adventurer. 
Now there's a brief case statement here, but that's only to determine whether or not which character is displayed within the uh, window next to the statistics. It's purely a visual thing. It has no impact on anything else. And then you can choose continue, which will take you to the main menu. You can continue with the game. Or return, which will take you back to 6, to choose another one. But let's assume you chose to click the continue button, which activates the F continue 7 function, which will set the array health to N health, just so because in battle N health decreases, but the A character stays the same. So then at the end of the battle, it can be reset to the maximum. The same occurs with the magic, and you are taken to frame 4. And that is the end of objective 1.